Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today's tutorial will be Stevie Wonder slash Jodeci Lately. The key is D flat major for both and uh, the version that I teach today will be you'll be able to play with either song. Uh, the rhythm will be different for each song but you should be able to get it pretty easily uh, once you play along with the song. But the chords are essentially the same so there won't be that much uh, transi transition needed uh, if you're going to play in either, either version. But the, the Jodeci version, as you know already, is a little bit slower tempo, and the Stevie version, the Stevie Wonder version, is a little bit faster in tempo. That's the only difference. So I'm going to start off just playing the chords that are played by both parties, and uh, I'll explain the, the verse section, the bridge, and then the chorus. So that's going to be uh, what's on tap one for today. So the first chord that they play, uh, whether you're Devante or Stevie, is going to be a D flat major chord. So it's going to be D flat, D flat in the left. So I'm not even going to break down the hands. I'm going to explain it uh, as just one giant uh, chord grouping. So D flat, A flat, D flat, A flat, D flat, F, natural. Then the next chord is going to be a B flat minor. And that's going to be B flat in the pinky, F natural here, B flat here, B flat in the right, D flat, F. So the chords in all this song is going to, are going to be uh, a triad in each hand, so don't worry about having a different uh, number of chords in each hand. It's not the case. And the next chord is going to be a G flat major. G flat down here, D flat here, G flat here, and G flat, D flat, or B flat and D flat. D flat. A flat major. A flat, E flat, A flat, A flat, C, E flat. E flat minor. E flat, B flat, E flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. Then back to uh, the D flat major. So next, I'm going to play that at regular speed, and then uh, just take note of the chords that I play. So at speed, it sounds similar to this, the the verse section. So what I'm doing in that section is just basically uh, whenever I transition over to another chord, I'm just picking up either the uh, the five or the one. And when you break down the chord of a D flat major, this is going to be one three five. I'm just playing, you know, the three or the five for the pickup section. So when I trans over transition over to that B flat minor. So when it's, I'll play it right here. I already hit that uh, that fifth, and I'm going to drop down to the B flat minor. And you can just do that for every chord that you play.
resolve on a uh, D flat major. And that repeats for the first verse and the second verse as well. So now that we've done that, uh, we're going to go over to the bridge, which is a little bit more different. And uh, I'll show that next. And also, for your consideration, I did put out the chord charts with my tutorial, so you'll be able to copy these chords down and just study them so that you know them for future reference. So hold on next. So now we're going on to the bridge section, which uh, it's not too difficult. So the bridge is going to be G flat major. Don't even worry about what's happening down here because it's the same chord right here, playing it down here, just an octave lower. So you have your G flat major. And then I want to go over to a G flat minor chord, which I'm going to uh, invert the chord and drop it down, uh, or actually raise it a half step. So I was playing this, or drop it down a half step. So I was playing this major, and I'm going to drop it down to a minor, and that gives it that uh, dissonant effect. So I'm playing this. Then I'm going to invert the chord up to A flat, A natural, D flat, and G flat. So you're going from a root position G flat major. And then you're going to go over to an A flat major, or a D flat major. Then a B flat major. So the chord definitions once again are going to be G, G flat, B flat, D flat, then A, D flat, G flat. The next chord is going to be A, C, F, A flat, C, F. So that's a D flat major seventh. And then you're going to resolve on a B flat major. B flat D and F. So once again, broken down. So next it's going to be played at regular speed, and then we're going to transition over into the chorus, which is going to be a basic repeat of these chords, but at a different pace. So hold on. So now we're going to go into the uh, bridge at full speed. Uh, I guess that's a pun if you want to take it that way. So a chorus, the, the bridge goes as follows. So once again, at speed. the bridge at regular speed. And now our final section is going to be the chorus. So hold on for that and we'll be finished soon enough.